New York Yankee Saints, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Let me ask you guys a question. What is the price of winning a World Series? The answer, Glaber Torres. In 2016, Brian Cashman absolutely stifled the Cubs, but at the time it didn't matter because obviously the Cubs went on to win the 2016 World Series. But when you analyze the trade, it was a beautiful thing that Brian Cashman pulled. Obviously, overall, this Chapman was a rental for the Cubs. We didn't know at the time if Aroldis Chapman would ever be a Yankee again. But in classic Brian Cashman fashion, he re-signed Aroldis Chapman following that offseason. Obviously, Chapman has been tremendous for the Yankees at times. Um, this season, he's absolutely a stud again. Obviously, with the acquisition originally of Aroldis Chapman... The Reds were shopping him because he had a little domestic violence situation going on, but history shows that the Yankees do take chances on these controversial players. So they took a chance with him. Then they flipped him, come trade that line for really a legend in the making, Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres, at just 22 years of age, his sophomore year, has 34 home runs potentially ending up with 40. That's amazing. The only player in the major leagues that you could compare him to is Juan Soto of the Nationals. Folks, I want you to comprehend this. The last player we saw, obviously Juan Soto is amazing as well, and Acuna of the Braves, who I forgot about. There are so many young, talented players out there now that I'm losing count. I'm talking about previous players. It's players like Alex Rodriguez. Glaber Torres, who's naturally a shortstop, obviously a great player again to have if your shortstop goes down. We saw it this season when Glaber Torres filled in for Tula Whiskey. I bet you guys forgot about him. Tula Whiskey, who was obtained to replace Didi Gregorius while he was out. So we all know Torres is naturally a shortstop. Not even Carlos Correa has hit as many home runs as Glaber Torres has in his career. The only player you could compare him with is Francisco Lindor of the Cleveland Indians. And yes, that's a heck of a comparison. And when I talk about home runs, I'm talking about per season. I'm not talking about career totals. And yes, obviously, I know I'm leaving out names. Names like Javier Baez. But long story put short, the Yankees got away with a robbery. Labor Torres has been tremendous. Only 22 years of age. That is just crazy. I just can't wrap my head around that. Obviously, I can or we can because there's even a younger player in Juan Soto who's doing amazing things as well. So, Yankees fans, Major League Baseball fans, it's time to place your bets. How does Glaber Torres end the season? Do you see him hitting close to 40? Does he get to 40 home runs? We have now started the Glaber Torres watch for 40 home runs. So, place your bets, leave your comments below, and like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page, NYY.